Okay, so let's take a look at how you can install Azure Data Studio on Ubuntu Linux. So basically, Azure Data Studio is, uh, think of this as a database management tool that allows you to access your on-premise or remote database. So your data can be on Azure, AWS or Google Cloud or even on your desktop you get to access that database so you can use it online or simply download it right so if you click on this link it should take you here now here you see you have option to choose from available downloads so in case of Ubuntu we have .tip file if I click on download it should start the download it's around 120 mb of total space and what we'll do is once it downloads we will switch to that particular directory and then we will try and open the terminal right so let's go to the folder right and then right click and simply open terminal then we'll try and copy by calling this rename option and close the window right now coming to this particular terminal which is in download section where we have downloaded our setup what we'll do is we will simply use command right so the command is here sudo dpkg then dash i and then the file name we need to paste right that we just copied from that rename option now we will hit enter it will ask me for sudo password will extract that dot deb file then it will try and install Azure data studio right once it goes through all the dependencies if there are any then you will be able to run Azure data studio through command line or through our all applications using this genome show application option Right, so let's wait for this to unpack. It is setting up Azure Data Studio. And then it will release us so that we get to connect to database. Let's clear this. Now let's minimize and click on show applications. And let's scroll and here you see Azure Data Studio click on this and as you can see it is kind of like Visual Studio Code so we'll have to wait till it completely loads a uh, few more things you will notice here is that now here you can see Azure Data Studio now you get the option to create a new connection, new query, new notebook and deploy a server so this is specific to your azure account so you'll have to give those credentials if you wish to deploy a server other than that you can create new connection and connect to local or your remote azure database right then there is query which you can run on existing connected database and its respective tables then there is also a new notebook that you can see right uh, then next part is here you see the left hand side bar that shows notebooks right then you have Explorer where you get to connect your folder and then access those respective script files then you have source control if you connect this to let's say something like github or bitbucket you can do so now there is also extension option so some of the extension that are available for our 
Azure Data Studio, right? We get to install that, right? Then there is option for accounts. Now this is pretty much self-explanatory where you get to add the account, see, from Microsoft's account. So add your outlook.com address. And once you connect here, it will globally connect your entire system account with this Azure Data Studio. Right? Let's close this one. Now comes the part where we have to manage settings. Right? So here you see command palette. So we'll take a look at that. So this is similar to your VS Code where you get to add accounts, servers, then within account we have token cache, then refresh accounts, Azure sign in. Then as your data studio updates, backup, and various set of queries and options. So it covers pretty much all the small shortcuts that you can use with Azure Data Studio. Now let's go and click settings again. And here you see option for settings. So just like with your studio code, you get to change font, style, font size then auto save can enable disable tab size can increase or decrease cursor style then also options related to data like connections right then security workbench and window and so on so forth now that's specific to your settings then you also have keyboard shortcuts key map color theme file icon theme product icon theme then work workspace trust and finally you have check for updates so if there are any updates available you will be able to download and use otherwise it will simply tell you that no updates available right so if you wish to create a connection you can click on create connection here you can choose connection type sql server right by default it shows you only that options right so if you have sql server installed on ubuntu you can simply give that server's name here then authentication authentication type which is sql login or windows authentication won't be usable here so we will ignore then azure active directory so between these two you can use then comes username and password then you have to point your database and server group if there is any and then click on connect so connect appears the moment your server and username fields are checked it will show you that connect option right so that's for making the connection then comes run query like I said, run queries like your typical Visual Studio Code's uh, page or tab where you can add the code and simply hit run. So it will run against your connected database. So if you are on Windows, you will notice that you have option to connect to Postgres or SQL Server or even Oracle. But in case of your Azure Data Studio for Linux, you will find only option for SQL Server query. So only that's executable here. Right, you can also check the database against which that query can run. And you can also change the connections here within the same tab. Right, now comes the notebook part. So if you have used C Sharp notebooks before, then Making use of the one for SQL won't be difficult. You will be easily able to add code here, then run them and get the result. And immediately next para or you can say next tab that opens after this, right? So that's your notebook and finally deploy server. So I don't have any connection for demo in case of deploy right but if you have aws account connected you will be able to simply use sql server choose your azure sql database or any other database type 
and start the deployment you can also connect to cloud and it has the cloud options as well right then on premise if you have your enterprise uh, instance of azure right so these are the things that you can do with azure data studio on your ubuntu setup